why did they wait for so long, the government of ANC, to address the issue of expired food, the issue of spaza shops? Hello there guys and welcome to Daily Updates. The community of South Africa together with some law enforcement are up in arms against the spaza shops in the many townships and villages in South Africa. This is because there were reports that there were two kids, two learners in Johannesburg who consumed biscuits from these puzzle shops and they ended up getting sick. One died and then one ended up in hospital. And when you look back, there's been a lot of cases where kids has been, have been dying because of this product. What is the main issue? It is that these shops who are owned by Ethiopians, Somalians, Pakistani, Indians, who most of them, when you check, they're not even illegal. They don't even have correct papers. And when you go further, they are not paying tax. So what is the main issue? The main issue is that they are selling expired products to South Africans. So most villages, most townships in South Africa decided to go up in arms against this ongoing problem. So they decided to go inside these puzzle shops and search these people to find out if, are you really selling uh, fake products are you selling expired products or not if you are selling products that are in good condition they pass you because they have no right to check your papers and all they just are looking for whether you are selling expired products or what and if they find expired products they are making sure that you are closing the shops and they take each and every expired items and then they are going to throw it away so now when you look at most of these instances each and every shop they go into they will end up finding an expired item in many of them. And most of these, to be surprised, are to be consumed by people. <laughs> so we, we actually met up with them, with the Somalians, Ethiopians, the, the leadership that is owning the Maspaza shops. Mabuz, we see, by the quality system now, are they qualifying now? Uh, have they complied with the bylaws? and all of that and then long old that, that they are selling there is the food compliant now where is the quality management uh, system of the food yeah well, so we, we did that and then they promised to go to know actually abana they don't have it so from the distribution centers Uzala. so all these other shops here there's no monitoring and evaluation system and then it is estimated what you hear in Soweto alone, because we are focusing at Soweto right now, there's close to 1,000 spaza shops. Every corner you turn, <coughs> Namas spaza shops. And Guban, who's inspecting Namas spaza shops? Because the people, the communities are eating them. When the food has expired, Guban was begging, I know I what the food has expired, it must be removed. So that the communities in Ata or Uda, that is fine. That is a, a, a problem. So we're going to do this inspection. This is one of the inspections that is going to escalate to a point where now we're going to be using amapatolas because amapatolas are going to act as a multiplier in terms now because they are thousand. So we need to deploy amapatolas everywhere to go. We're going to show them how to look at the food and what needs to, what needs to be wrong or right like that. We're going to work with the environmental health. And then if yourselves as officers, you close it, your, your patronas must be your eyes and ears. If it's vanilla, then the patronas must give us a, a thing, a, a signal that you've closed the shop here, but these people are operating. But this is an escalation of those operations where it's going to be. I've been following some of the videos, the live videos regarding this issue. And when you go further following these issues, you find that these guys, most of them are arrogant. While well, some of them are trying to bribe the people who are coming to them. And it's about time the people of South Africa may be standing up for themselves because how do how did the government let such a problem become a big, big issue in South Africa? Because each and every corner you find, there is a shop. And when you find that shop, you find that most of them are not compliant. And following this, you will find that they are law enforcement officers who are taking bribes from these people i mean nobody said that they are not supposed to operate businesses in south africa they are allowed the only problem is that 
when you are no longer following the rules, when you are lo no longer selling things that are in good condition, you are putting the lives of South African people at risk, there you are a danger to society. The people of South Africa cannot sit down and let such a road continue. It is about time they stand up and say that enough is enough because when you look further, you find that while they don't pay tax and they're selling uh, expired items, some people are some of them are, are selling counterfeits and the biggest problem is that when you look at the comparison between uh, South Africans puzzle owners and the, the foreigners who are running these puzzle shops there's a huge difference because South African cannot run those uh, puzzle successfully because of one reason South Africans are stocking a lot of quality products and selling it to their people but these guys are are stocking fake expired counterfeit food, uh, counterfeit item, and selling it to the people of South Africa while they themselves go and purchase in at ShopRite, pick and pay, and in turn they are selling these things to South Africans. There were a few videos where you can see that there there is a, a, a manufacturing firms where they are actually manufacturing their own products. These guys were manufacturing Vicks. They come with their own VIX where they use less money to produce it. And when you compare it to the original VIX, there's a huge difference. But they still sell it to the people of South Africa because most of the people don't even check. They look at the fact that the price is cheap. I can be able to buy this. In turn, you're just putting yourself in danger. Where are the health inspectors who are hired under government to make sure that these problems are not continuing? So now... The problem is that South Africans cannot run spaza shops because it is becoming a, such an intense competition between the foreigners, which foreigners are not really struggling with uh, selling or struggling with high prices. Because if I can be able to produce something cheaper, I can sell it cheaper. They have to sell it with profit. Now there comes the bigger problem. They can be able to sustain their spazas if the competition is so high against the foreigners. Now, the government of South Africa, we are heading towards voting. We are heading towards elections. They cannot really tell us that they are going to fix this problem in just one day. Why did they wait for so long, the government of ANC, to address the issue of expired food, the issue of spaza shops? When you go around South Africa, the local economy, is owned by foreigners. That cannot be xenophobic. Those are facts. And they own it in a way that is not legal. But to run something in South Africa, you need to be in the pockets of, of politicians. You need to be in the pockets of those who are higher. And in that way, you will continue operating while you give them something on the side. They are putting the, the life of children, they are putting the life of South African in danger, these politicians, because all they care about is, am I getting money on the side while I have salary? And if I'm getting that money, it means life can continue as normal. Most of them today are shocked that people have been dying, that kids are dying. They are shocked, but they know about the issue. The police know about the issue. The traffic officers know about the issue. And South Africans, when they stand up, the first word that comes out is xenophobic. It is a big problem, South Africans. And the people of South Africa, when they wake up, when they rise up to respond to such a problem, maybe they need to be supported. Maybe the government needs to take over and do the job because the communities are showing them this is how it's done. You go into the shops and make sure that they are compliant. If they are not compliant, you close shops. At the end of the day, we cannot sit back and let our kids die because of the products they buy. It's such a shame that our government has let this rot to go on for such a long time. But again, as always, our vote counts next year.